Coming up next here on Golf America, we're heading to the low country of South Carolina as we'll take you around two wonderful golf courses. Plus, golf fitness coach Mitty Boysen offers up another exercise routine to help you get fit for golf and fit for life. And in our tip of the week, PGA professional David Lepore explains how impact on the club face affects your golf shots. The Low Country in South Carolina. It is where the ebb and flow of the tidal marshes brings to light life along the coast. Where Spanish moss hangs elegantly from live oaks. It is also where rivers and their estuaries meet the Atlantic. And it was on this property that world-renowned golf course architect Jack Nicklaus left an indelible mark on the game of golf. Often considered by the legends of the game as one of the finest 18 holes of golf, the Nicholas course opened for play in 1991. So intriguing a design, Golf Digest named this layout the best new private course in America in 1993. In 2017, the Nicholas Design Team restored the course to its original low country beauty. From your first tee shot on through your final putt, Jack Nicholas takes the golfer on a journey. And along the way, he provides glimpses of the tidal marsh on the front nine. Then, as you make the turn, Nicholas routes the back nine in dramatic fashion, finishing along the Colleton River. The Nicholas course offers seven sets of tees. For the very gifted player, the back championship tees stretches out to nearly 7,100 yards. From the blue tees, the mid-level handicapped player will find more than enough course at 65.45. And for the ladies, the red tees play to 5,005 yards. Off the tee. Fairly open, as most Nicholas courses are, aren't too demanding off the tee. But uh, around the greens can get quite challenging. The greens are fairly large, which if you're not going to hit it the right distance, then you're going to be left with some long putt that's going to have some movement to it. And with the above average speed of the greens here on the Nicholas course, you'll need to be precise with your flat stick. Throughout the golf course, Jack Nicklaus used waste areas. Some come into play, and some do not. So strategically, I believe, put there for uh, some holes, but other places it's more of a visual effect. The Nicklaus course, along with the Pete Dye course at Colleton River Club, offers its members 36 holes of championship caliber golf. two different types of uh, golf courses that can really challenge uh, our membership and, and their guests. And just ahead here on Golf America, we'll head back out to the Colleton River Club and take a look at an incredible par three on the Jack Nicklaus course. Plus, golf fitness coach Mindy Boysen offers up another exercise routine to help you get fit for golf and fit for life. Hi, I'm Mindy B from Fit for Golf, Fit for Life, and we're here at the beautiful Porter's Neck Country Club in Wilmington, North Carolina. Now, in the past, I've talked to you and shown you some exercises that are called CARS. CARS is an acronym for Controlled Articular Rotations. We've done the hips, we've done some shoulders, but now I'm going to show you some CARS that's going to feel oh so good for your scapula, also known as your shoulder blades. We need these shoulder blades to be very strong, but we also need them to be able to move no frozen shoulder. So let's begin. I want you to stand nice and tall, a very good strong statue-like stance. If I tried to come over and push you over, you would not move. So knees are slightly unlocked, you're pushing your feet into the ground, your shoulder blades are back, your hands are going to stay glued to your sides because we don't want these arms moving. 
Standing tall, try to pull your ribs away from your hips, and I want you to just, without moving your head or your hips, you're gonna try to bring your shoulders as far forward as you can. You may even cramp in your pecs, because we're not used to doing this. We're trying to push past that, past that threshold that they're used to moving. We're gonna pull your shoulders up as high as you possibly can by your ears and your neck. You're gonna bring your shoulders back as far as you possibly can, and you're gonna bring your shoulders back down. So we're making squares, abs are tight forward, up, back, and down, forward, up, back, and down. Now let's reverse. Up, forward, down, and back. Up, forward, down, and back. Now each time you make that square, I want you to push a little bit farther and I want you to feel like someone's pulling your fingers down squeezing a pencil between your shoulder blades, lifting up as high as you can, and then forward. I've also called these shoulder circles. Shoulder circles are fine. You can do shoulder circles both directions. But cars is more pronounced, pushes to the limit, adds a little bit of pressure, and adds a little bit of a strength element to those shoulder blades. You start to do that and you really push through, you're gonna find your sore at the beginning, but later on you won't be and you'll be a little bit more used to it. And that square will go from this size to this size. So controlled articular rotations. Your articulation happens to be your shoulder and your shoulder blade joints. For that exercise and more CARS exercises, go ahead and check out my website, fitforgolfusa.com. Hold number four here on the Nicholas course at College and River Club is certainly a tough par three. I actually think this hole um, is more difficult than TPC Sawgrass. Uh, it plays very much similar sometimes when the tides come in. Actually, that whole area can be full of water and uh, can be quite intimidating, particularly if the wind's up. So take aim for the center of the green and make sure you have your yardage dialed in. Yeah, just hit the yardage in the middle of the green and then if you can make a longer putt, great, but you wanna make par and head on out of there. When it comes to golf in the low country of South Carolina, few places can match the offerings found at Colleton River Club. Set against a backdrop that only Mother Nature could provide, this private golf course community offers not one, but two championship style layouts. The original golf course at Colleton was designed by Jack Nicklaus and opened for play in 1991. Seven years later, Pete Dye was called upon to craft a layout whose design characteristics fit in perfectly with the land on which this course sits. A link style course that winds its way through low country forest on the front nine, then on the back nine, Dye routes the course around the wetlands offering breathtaking views of Port Royal Sound. With its seven sets of tees, you can choose just how much of a challenge you would like in your round. From the back championship tees, the die course here at Colleton River Club plays to just over 7,400 yards. For the mid-handicap player, the course plays to 6,421. And for the ladies, the red tees here on the die course play to almost 5,100 yards. And then you throw in the wind effect being such, such uh, close to the water. Also adding to the challenge of the die course is the 300 plus bunkers. Some of them obviously in play, others are just sight lines. 
uh, for, for targets really off the tee. And one of the keys to scoring out here on the die course starts with one's ability to find the short grass off the tee. You do need to drive it um, a little bit straighter, I would say, although it's not very penal. Um, you're just never going to get an opportunity to get, you know, a good look at those flag sticks or get into the, to the hole locations. Pete Dye also places a premium on hitting accurate approach shots into greens that are well protected and somewhat smaller in nature. And do have quite a bit of movement even as small as they are. So you have to drive it in the fairway to give yourself an opportunity to attack the whole location. The Pete Dye course at Colleton River Club in Bluffton, South Carolina. A layout that has hosted both U.S. Amateur and Open Qualifiers, as well as the 2015 U.S. Junior Amateur Tournament. The course was also featured in the movie The Legend of Bagger Vance. The Dye course is a unique mix of challenge and beauty, and it led Pete Dye to say, this is the best course I have ever built. And still to come on Golf America, PGA professional David Lepore will explain the importance of finding the sweet spot like for great golf shots. Plus, we'll take a look at all the other amenities available at the Colleton River Club when we come back. Hi, my name is David Lepore, Director of Instruction at Colleton River Club, and welcome to today's golf tip. You know, with today's technology, golf is slowly giving away its secrets, and one of the neat things that we can track is where on the club face we're hitting the golf ball. That consequently is going to affect where the golf ball is going. So what I'd like to do is not only show you impact on the heel, on the middle of the club face, the sweet spot, and on the toe, but more importantly, how you can go ahead and fix that impact position and hit it more in the middle of the club face. So what I'd like to do is hit a shot where the golf impact is near the heel of the golf club and we'll see the golf ball go left. So as I get set up, all right now I know that impact was on the heel and I know that that golf club closed so let's take a look at what happened on that particular shot. Okay, so here we are taking a look at some of the results of hitting the golf ball near the heel. This particular shot was hit near the heel or the hosel of the golf club, and you're going to notice that it was only eight, or I'm sorry, 10 millimeters away from the sweet spot. And the consequence of that miss hit toward the heel closed the club face 4.3 degrees. Uh, the path was relatively neutral, right around zero, and the ball went 180 yards, but, but more importantly, it went 53 feet left. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at a golf shot where you hit the middle of the club face, and we'll see what the club face does at impact. All right, here we are taking a look at the straight shot. Now you're gonna notice that I was only four millimeters away from the sweet spot, so the impact is pretty good. Uh, the club face only closed one degree, so that's not much. The club path is again neutral. Uh, similar club speed and similar distance, and that ball went uh, five, maybe six feet left of where I'm aiming. So uh, that was a shot that went relatively straight, and it's because I hit the middle of the club face and the club face didn't turn left or right. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hit the third shot, and the impact is going to be a little bit on the toe of the club, and we'll see the effect of that miss hit. All right, okay, so here we are taking a look at a shot that goes to the right, probably the most common miss in the game of golf. You're going to notice that uh, the impact was toward the toe of the glove, and of course it was about eight millimeters away from the middle of the club face, and it's interesting to note that small amount opened up the club face at impact 2.7 degrees. In other words, the club face was open. Uh, path was relatively neutral. Uh, that golf shot ended up going 60, 66 feet to the right of the target. Not because I came into the golf ball with an open club face, but because I hit it near the toe of the club face. 
if you could work on that impact bag and imagine a little bit more square at impact. What sets one golf course community apart from so many others? Is it the architectural diversity? Or is it the natural surroundings? Could it be its offering of two highly acclaimed golf courses? Those who call College and River home will tell you it's all of the above and more. Okay, we have over 1,500 acres that comprise this peninsula that is College and River, so we have plenty of room to spread out, even with uh, two and a half golf courses. Nestled between the Colleton and Chichesse Rivers in Bluffton, South Carolina, the Colleton River Club offers two distinct layouts by two of golf's greatest designers, Jack Nicklaus and Pete Dye. And each course features its own clubhouse. Located at the Nicklaus course is the Practice Park. We had a nine hole par three course. Actually, we've now converted it into a six hole par three, renovated the whole entire area, new greens, new surface for grass. Took three of the, uh, the old par three holes and actually made a short game area with three 10,000 square foot greens. And in 2017, the club added its learning center. Two large uh, indoor bays with three outside hitting bays with all the state-of-the-art technology you could possibly uh, ask for to help you fine-tune your game. Now, if tennis is your game, the Stan Smith Tennis Complex offers six hard true courts. And right next to the tennis complex is the aquatics complex, featuring a junior Olympic swimming pool and kiddie pool. Looking to get and stay in shape, then look no further than the fitness center located at the Nicholas Clubhouse at Colleton. We have classes as well um, that obviously all goes through the fitness center where we have yoga. Um, we do have a full-time physical therapist on property as well as personal trainers and they all um, operate with the aquatics classes as well. For those whose lifestyle is centered around the water, there is the community dock, offering deep water access and temporary dockage, along with storage and a launch dock for your kayak. Over at the Dye Clubhouse, members can enjoy a casual setting and a plethora of culinary amenities as you take in views of Port Royal Sound and the Atlantic from Bagger's Pub. At the Nicholas Clubhouse, you'll find a full service golf shop. You can also choose from various dining options while enjoying spectacular sunsets over the Colleton River. We offer a full menu uh, every day of the week. Uh, we do go over to the Dye Clubhouse for dinner, starting on a Saturday night, and we stay there through brunch on a Sunday. Do do uh, uh, wine events once a quarter. Uh, we've most recently done uh, Paul Hobbs, and we did an Italian wine dinner where Sasakaya was the headline. You know, our big thing now is socialization. Uh, we base all our events around socializing. Uh, the cocktail hour beforehand is, uh, is the Mecca, it's uh, Gathering Central. Another unique aspect to Colleton River Club is the availability of staying on property as a guest of one of its members. We have eight cottages um, that equals 42 bedrooms. Um, fantastic for weddings, again, and events. We do offer a group rate. Um, all cottages are within walking distance are the Nicholas Clubhouse, the pool, and fitness. The Colleton River Club in Bluffton, South Carolina, a 1,500-acre private peninsula offering world-class golf and all the amenities one would seek for today's lifestyle.
Hole number 12 on the Pete Dye Design Golf Course here at Colleton River Club is a medium length par four that plays straight into the wind. Off the tee here at number 12, it's important to find the right part of the fairway. But for the most part, it really comes down to the second shot. Um, knowing you've got to cover that, that, uh, that marsh makes it a little bit more challenging, uh, you know, certainly mentally. And then selecting the right club as, as, as the wind is blowing either into the wind, crosswind, downwind. And while there is a little bit of bailout area around the green complex, the safe bet is to hit your approach shot to the center of the green. There's a little bit of room where you might be able to play it out of the hazard, who wants to do that? But being long is not, is not great either, so it just requires the right selection of clubs. 